Hey, traveling friends and cruisers, have I got some great news for you. Well, it's great news if you are a coffee drinker and you love Starbucks. So it was just recently announced that Starbucks is going to be on all 17 of the Norwegian Cruise Line cruise ships. Uh, they're going to fulfill that uh, by the end of 2022. Hope you don't mind this interruption, but I need to ask you up front, would you mind subscribing I'm asking this at the end as well, but for those of you who may not make it to the end, I want to make this work, and I am far from making it work. I need to hit 1,000 subscribers. I'm someplace 50-something right now. That was the phone. I'm about 50, you know, 51, 52, someplace in there, but I do need your help. I sincerely um, would appreciate it as well as if you would not mind watching the videos to rack up some time. And if you want, just hit the play button, let it go through all the videos. Um, you know where I'm get going with this. I just need your help. So without further ado, let's continue with this stuff. Thanks. This information actually comes from a press release. And within that press release, it also says that the Norwegian Cruise Line is going to be able to, you know, have that logo or that saying that says we proudly serve i don't know 100 percent because i don't drink a whole lot of coffee so i guess for me it won't make that much of a difference maybe uh if you're a coffee connoisseur or like i said you are really into starbucks coffee but the other really neat thing is that whatever flavors and uh types of coffee that is available in the stores on land they're going to make that available on the cruise ships. And that means even the specialty drinks. And I will admit that during the holiday season, there are times that I crave some of their great concoctions that they make. You know, sometimes with the uh, the nutmeg and spice things for during Halloween. And then on some of the ships, they're actually going to have the licensed stores. And that means that you're going to be able to buy all the tchotchkes, all the, all the little things that you want that Starbucks uh, stores back at home have. I, I believe that they said that you're going to be able to, you know, use your reward points uh, with gift cards and all that stuff. So it should act just like a Starbucks store. And let me read this to you specifically what it says, because I'm not I may not have been clear as far as where you can get your Starbucks coffee. But Starbucks espresso beverages will also be available at all main dining rooms and specialty restaurants. Um with select ships offering self-pour coffee stations um, at the Garden Cafe uh, all during you know the three buffet meals. Ooh, that could be dangerous. There are people who probably would be, fill her up, fill her up, fill her up. Because especially back at home at $3 to $7 for coffee from Starbucks. And if you're saying, hey, self-serve station, go pour it and drink it. Boy, they're going to go through a lot of coffee grounds. What do you think? Put a comment below and let me know. Are you a coffee drinker? Do you like Starbucks? Is that a good thing? This definitely sounds like it could be a win-win for coffee drinkers and Norwegian Cruise Line. So here's what President and Chief Executive Officer Harry Summer from Norwegian Cruise Line had to say about, about this partnership or extended partnership. He says, we are proud to announce our extended partnership offering the most robust Starbucks experience at sea for our guests. Just days before we restart our operations in Seattle, Starbucks hometown. So they're going to restart on August 7th, 2021. So that is, what, today's the, uh, the evening of August 2nd. So coming up this weekend, they're going to be departing Seattle for Alaska. But wait. There's more for all of you coffee drinkers out there. They're also going to start serving coffee at a couple of their uh, private islands. So in Belize, it is uh, Harvest Key or Harvest K. I don't know how you folks want to pronounce it. And then in the Bahamas at Stirrup Key or Stirrup K. Stirrup Key, really. So there you go. On the ship, on the private island, you're going to have Starbucks. Oh, but you're going to have to wait till later in 2021. But they better hurry because it's already August. Later in 2021? Well, I suppose if you have um, a hot coffee on a cold night, it would be perfect. All right, so that's it. 
this was good news, right? I didn't bring you anything about the COVID or anybody getting sick, which there have been this past week. So we'll cover that in the uh, the next video. But please, like I said, remember in the comments, let me know. Are you a coffee drinker? Are you a Starbucks fan? What coffee do you like? Hey, like I said, I'm not a coffee drinker, but I might start drinking some. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to really ask you guys. I really want to make this work. And I want to make it work for me. I want to make it work for everybody out there that's watching and listening. So with your help, please, I need to hit 1,000 subscribers. And I am so far from that right now. I am at, I don't know, 50 or something like that. Also need uh, watch time. You, you know where I'm going with this. I, I just really want to make this work. So please, again, subscribe, tell all your friends, pass along for them to subscribe. Also, if you wouldn't mind, just hit the play and let it play through all these videos. You don't have to watch it if you don't want. Just let it go through there to rack up some hours for me. I hope it's okay for me to say that. And just a huge thank you in advance and a huge thank you right now in the present for watching. So my name is Chuck Tuck and I am the host, if you want to call me that. So long.